This video is produced to help you get fit and exercise safely at home. Before we begin, let's go through three key safety tips. First tip, set up. Ensure your setup at home is safe and conducive for exercise. We recommend a decluttered space, a heavy chair, or a stable surface to hold onto such as a table, handrail, or window rail. Second tip, knowing when to stop. Stop the exercise if you feel unwell. This can include feeling pain, dizziness or unsteadiness, shortness of breath or palpitation. Third tip, start off light. Ensure you are doing the exercise in good form. If you find the exercise too easy or too hard and wish to modify, talk to your physiotherapist. You may also wish to consult your physiotherapist if this is the first time that you are doing these exercises. Sit to stand. This exercise requires you to stand up from a chair. It is good for strengthening the muscles of your weaker leg. Set up a chair alongside a firm surface, for example a table or a kitchen bench. Ensure the strong arm can hold onto the table if needed. Ensure your bottom is slightly forward in the chair and your toes are behind your knees. Now you're ready to go. So push up using the strength in both legs. To make the exercise harder, you can put your weaker leg further backward. You can stand up from a lower chair. You can also stand up from a softer chair. You can also stand up and take a step or incorporate any other movement with the standing up exercise. Weight shift. This exercise requires you to shift your weight onto your weaker leg while standing. It is good for strengthening the muscles in your weaker leg. To start, stand alongside a firm surface, for example a table or a kitchen bench. Ensure there is a stable surface close for support if needed. Ensure an upright posture. Toes are pointing forward and your feet are shoulder width apart. Then shift your body weight onto your weak leg. To make the exercise harder, you can wear a weighted vest while standing, stand for longer periods of time, or shift weight onto the weaker leg and do other things with the strong leg, such as tapping on a step or marching on the spot. Stairs. This exercise requires you to go up and down a set of steps. It is good for strengthening the muscles of your weaker leg. To start, hold onto the rail with a strong arm. To step up, think about good leg to heaven and bad leg to hell. So this means stepping up with your strong leg followed by your weak leg. And to step down, go first with your weak leg followed by your strong leg. To make the exercise harder, you can decrease the handrail support. You can also increase the number of steps or you can take on a step through gate pattern where you are stepping onto the step with your good leg and then stepping onto the other step with your weak leg. Walking. This exercise requires you to walk, a simple task that we often take for granted. It is good for strengthening the muscles in your weaker leg. To start, have your walking stick ready. Pick a quiet and uncluttered area for your first walk. Take some time to enjoy the scenery and the flowers and to smell the fresh air. To make the exercise harder, you can increase the distance in which you are walking. You can also increase the time. You can also change the walking routes so that you in incorporate more challenging surfaces such as slopes, uh, sand or grassy patches. Chair-based exercise. This exercise requires you to dance and move while sitting in a chair. It is good for strengthening the muscles in your back and your arms. You may find more of these exercises at the SNSA website. Now to start, get your dancing gear on. Position your chair in front of the TV or tablet so that you can have a good view of the exercise. Allow for ample space so you don't hit anyone. Enjoy moving and grooving. Now to make the exercise harder, you can do the exercises with the weak arm and the weak leg. You can wear strap-on weights on both arms and legs. You can also do the exercises while standing. Now for all of these exercises, you might be wondering how much and how hard to work for maximum benefits. How much? 
The guidelines from the World Health Organization recommend at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity each week. This can be broken up into 30 minutes a day, 5 days a week. If you are just starting out, you may have to aim for shorter bouts of 5 to 10 minutes a day. How hard? Work at an intensity that is not too hard nor too easy. A good gauge is the talk test, where you, you can still talk while exercising but find it hard to sing. If you find this video useful and are looking for more ways to get fit, do check out our other videos here. Remember, break up the 30, work hard for 10, and do something you love. All the best in your fitness journey.